On this Blue Zoo TV webisode, we'll travel to Dayton, Ohio to visit Gerber's Saltwater Warehouse, a place where hard to find marine fish are commonplace. And we'll see how Cordon products can help all of us keep our tanks clean and our fish healthy. Sometimes we talk about where fish come from, but obviously in some of the most undescript locations, you can find really cool fish. We're going in Gerber's Saltwater Warehouse to see those kinds of fish. We are here at one of the coolest places on the planet to see marine fish in Dayton, Ohio, with our man, John Gerber, Saltwater Warehouse. John. Hey, Frank. How you doing? Good. Hey, give us an idea here. When we first walk through the door, what are those big columns of water and sand that we're walking under? That's the uh, filtration system. That's a protein skimmer and a fluidized sand filter. Now that is able to take care of how many tanks under here? Uh, each system, it, it takes care of a whole row of aquariums. There's about uh, 60 aquariums on one system. On one system, so you have about 240 tanks running on one system. Correct. The cool thing about this place is that you've got marine life from just about all over the planet, don't you? Yes. Give us an idea of some of the different species that you have. Well, we import fish from the Philippines, Indonesia, Singapore. We bring in fish from Hawaii. We bring in fish from the Caribbean and uh, Australia, actually all over the world. Now one of the things that stands out about this place a little different than others is that you don't have a lot of display tanks that are all decorative and, and foo-foo, but you've got fish and tanks. Was this at one time not a retail place? Yes, at first we were a wholesaler and we wholesaled the fish stores all over the Midwest. But what we did in about four or five years ago is a lot of the uh, retail, the chain stores didn't want to carry the high-end marine fish. So we went ahead and opened up to the public. So being in Dayton, which is pretty much the center of the universe, I've, I've heard, um, how many people and where are you bringing people from? Well, not only do we sell, our customer base is not just Dayton, Ohio. Our customer base is Richmond, Indiana, Cincinnati, Ohio, people from Columbus, people from all over the state and the surrounding tri-state come to Gerber Saltwater Warehouse. Now, some of the corals and invertebrates behind us Big deal in the hobby, um, things have changed where they're a lot user friendly now that you can keep them. So I would imagine you sell quite a few corals. Yeah, the, the big thing that's happened over the last few years with technology, with the lighting systems, with all the great foods out there, uh, we can now maintain and grow corals. So the reef aquarium has become the popular saltwater aquarium, not just a saltwater fish tank, but a tank which actually is a coral tank. John, when someone comes in, and they have it in their mind that they want a specific fish, maybe it's a little more aggressive. The way you've set up, you can actually point them basically in that direction. There's a little more of an aggressive section over there and they can go look. Yeah, we have it broken down where we have reef safe area and we have fish that are more aggressive and are not coral friendly. Why don't you give us a little tour? Okay. Nature's microbes have self-cleansing power. EcoBioBlock is infused with nature's own microbes in volcanic rock creates a perfect ecosystem by clarifying cloudy water and replacing minerals. Setting up aquariums has never been easier. Reduce water changes and vacuumings. EcoBioBlock. Clear water, healthy fish. Give us a call or go online to wondersave.com. You know, John, I'm really looking forward to, hey, you got stingrays. No way. What are these? These are uh, baby uh, Sea of Cortez stingrays. Can I touch them? Yeah. They're little. And the stingray is kind of going near... It's a green brittle starfish. Wow. Go ahead and pick them up. A green brittle starfish. That's huge. How much bigger does he get? That's almost full grown. They'll get a little bit bigger in your aquarium, but not much. Wow. Very nice. You know, the only thing that would make this trip even better is if you had, you know, sharks. <laughs> sharks like this. No way. What are these? These are baby cat sharks. We actually buy the eggs and uh, we hatch them here in the facility. They're only about uh, two weeks old. So baby cat sharks, as I make it so it doesn't live past two weeks. It's funny how they just... Animals. Yeah, this is one here was just hatched two weeks ago in our facility. Wow, two weeks, he's little. That's nice. 
How much bigger does he get? He'll get about 24 to 30 inches in an aquarium. And that's the one thing about the banded cat shark we like. It's one of the true sharks that really can be kept in an aquarium. You don't want to get some of the sharks that get too big and outgrow your aquarium. I'm not really sure you can top this, but can you top it? Sure, let's go look at our puffer. A puffer, I like it. John, this is the puffer. And I'm holding krill. We're gonna feed the puffer. The puffer is the size of a poodle, for God's sake. Yeah, actually a customer bought a small Stars of Trek puffer from us for two years ago, and it ended up outgrowing his aquarium, so he traded it back to us, and uh, my whole staff kind of fell in love with it, and he's become the store mascot. Well, I'm gonna give it a go and feed him, and make sure he doesn't take off my finger at the process. Okay. Well, not only will he like you to feed him, he actually likes it if you pet him. He's a big boy. Now, how, how much bigger can he get? How much does he weigh right now? Oh, I don't know his exact weight, but uh, that's, that's, for captivity, that's about as big as you'll see a Stars and Stripes puffer. Wow, that's a big fish. He's awesome. I don't think he goes to the dentist very often. You know, we get a lot of questions that come into the show about how do you set up a tank, how do you maintain a tank, how do you troubleshoot a tank? Well, with 15,000 gallons, what better guy to answer these questions than David Hale. Hey, Dave. Hey, how you doing? What's hey. happening? Look, Cordon, Trusted Solutions since 1961. When you set up a tank from scratch, basically, and you're putting in tap water, because not everybody has an RO system, what additives do you add to get rid of the chlorines? Well, I use the Cordon Awaka Plus water conditioner. It removes chlorine, chlorines out of the tap water, makes it safe for the fish. Okay, you've taken care of the water. What about taking care of the fish themselves? Well, then we use the Cordon Fish Protector, has vitamin B, helps replace the slime coat, reduces the stress of the fish. Now, Cordon's made it very easy. It's like a one, two, three step. You figure out the size of your aquarium, you read the back of it, and you put in whatever additive you need. Six months down the road, many of us who have kept fish run into that three-headed lettered monster called Ick. How, through Cordon, do you take care of it? The Ick attack, it's 100% organic, helps reduce, remove, and eliminate the Ick and even fungus. Well, to show how easy it absolutely is using Cordon, give us an idea of how you do it with some fish protectant. It's like a cap full for like 10 gallons, follow directions pertaining to your aquarium, and just pour it right into the aquarium. So simple, I can use it. Yes, sir. That is Cordon, Trusted Solutions since 1961. Cordon is your trusted source for premium aquarium products. Amquel Plus eliminates ammonia and nitrates. Novaqua Plus removes heavy metals and chlorine while adding a protective slime coating, vitamins, and electrolytes. And Ick Attack controls Ick and is reef friendly. Visit Cordon.com to check out the entire line of products. Cordon, trusted solutions since 1961.